G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to work out the distance between two points on a linear equation. A really simple thing how to do. In this video also what we'll do is explain why this works, just so you truly understand what you're doing and I tell you, it'll make life really easy uh, when you're trying to remember how to do this. Okay, so uh, first off let's have a look at a couple of points. We're going to go between the points of minus 1 on the x to a minus 2, so minus 1, minus 2, to the point of 2 and 2. So minus 1, minus 2 is here, and 2, 2 is here. So we're going to work out the distance between these two points here. So a couple of things that we need to work out when we do this is the following. The first thing we need to work out is how far has this graph risen or fallen, or how far between these points have we gone up or down. I guess what you could call the rise. Um, so how far have we gone between minus 2 and 2? We've gone up 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have a rise of 4. The second thing we need to work out is how far across have we gone from one point to the other. So we've gone from minus 1 to 2. So from here to here, this is our run. And you can see from minus 1 to 2, we've gone across 3. And we're going to use these to work out how far uh, this particular distance is. And you might, have, you might be looking at this straight away and think, oh, I know this how this will work. This is going to work because of Pythagoras' theorem. That is, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That is to say, if we were to get this side and square it, and this side and square it, and add those two answers together, it would be the same as this side here squared. So I can rearrange this and say that c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared, okay? All I've done is I've square rooted this, and so I've had to square root this, and it's put c all by itself. So another way of writing this is you might think, well, okay, I could write this as this distance here is equal to the square root of the rise squared plus the run squared, okay? So we're going to get the rise squared, the run squared, we're going to add them together, and square root our answer, and that will tell us this distance here, okay? So, let's do that. So the rise, we've gone up 4, 4 squared, okay? Uh, we've gone across 3, 3 squared. We're going to add those together, and then square root it. So, 4 squared is 16, 3 squared is 9, square root of those, which is equal to 16 plus 9, the square root of 25. So, you're very close to working out our answer. The square root of these guys, the square root of 25 is 5. This distance here is 5. So that's how you work this out. Really simple, right? You just get the rise, and you square that. You get the run, and you square that. You add them together, and then you square root your answer just like you do in Pythagoras' theorem, okay? So it's quite a simple thing. I'm going to go through another example of these just to make sure you're okay. So the example we're going to have a look at is where we're going to go from the point of minus 3, 1, across to the point of, what about, 4 and 4, okay? So let's plot these first off. We have minus 3, 1, 2, 3 back, and 1, which is up 1 and 4 and 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, which would be around about here, okay? And so we're going to work out the distance between these two points here, okay? So this distance. To work this out, we're going to go C is equal to the square root, see if you can remember this, of the rise squared plus the run squared. So how far have we gone up here? This is this distance here. We have gone from 1 to 4. Okay, so we've gone up 3. Our rise is 3, which we're going to square. How far across have we gone? We've gone from negative 3 to 4, so we've gone across 3. And then we've got another 4, so that's 7. So plus 7 squared. Okay, we're going to add those together and square root our answer. So this is equal to, what's 3 squared? 9. 7 squared? 49. We're going to square root those once we add them together. So 9 plus 49 is 58. 
So the square root of 58 is our answer. And your teacher might allow you to leave, you, leave it like this. You could take this a step further. You could uh, quickly work out the square root of 58. And the answer when you do that, it's going to be about 7.7. .7. Okay? So that's the way you go about working out the distance between two points on a linear equation. Really, really simple. Okay? Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you next time. Okay, bye.